So I'm guessing we've all been here at one point or another. We finish recording our video, we go load it into our editing software, and we find this. So I'm recording this short clip of video just to show you the difference between audio being in sync in Ecamm and audio being out of sync as you record your YouTube videos to edit. And of course, if you're seeing this for the first time, you've never seen this happen before, your first thought is blow it up, restart, I've got to record this all over again. You don't have to, don't redo that. Watch this video, I'm gonna help you figure out how to fix it if you've already recorded or prevent it from happening. In my videos, I use Ecamm, Final Cut Pro, a Canon M50, and a Shure MV7 mic. I'm gonna show you how to fix this right after this. Just hit record. So welcome back to the channel guys. I am Ken, your content coach. And once again, in this video, I wanna talk just for a few minutes about audio latency. So your audio being out of sync with the video and how to either fix that if you've already filmed it or how to prevent that from happening in the future. Now, as I said in the beginning, I film my videos with Ecamm, with a Canon M50 camera, a Shure MV7 microphone, and then I edit in Final Cut Pro. Now, that being said, this can happen with any camera, any microphone. I'm gonna demonstrate this again using Ecamm, and I just edit in Final Cut Pro, so that's what I'm gonna show. But your editing software will also be able to do some of the same stuff. Just use the same technique that I'm gonna show you here. Apply that to your editing software, and you should be good to go. So we're gonna start with video that you have already filmed. No, you don't have to start over. You do not have to refilm. This is very easy and quick to fix. You don't even need really any special tools. So we are gonna to go to Final Cut Pro. And as you can see in Final Cut Pro, I do have a clip that I have already started. I've got here for the purposes of demonstration. So let's play this one more time. So I'm recording this short clip of video just to show you the difference between audio being in sync in Ecamm and audio being. And as you can see, that audio is way off from the video. So this is very easy to fix. The first thing I'm gonna do is right click on the video and I'm gonna detach audio. Okay, now you can see what happens is you have your audio is now separate from the video and you can move this around, drag it around do what you need to do. So the first thing I want to kind of figure out is how far off is the audio from the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio frame by frame until I figure out where the audio is. Okay, you can kind of hear that little s -s. That's the audio starting. So that's where the audio begins. Now I'm going to go frame by frame until I see my lips start to move, which is where I would start talking. And right about here, you can see where my mouth starts to form that word. That's where I'm figuring I'm at. So if we go back. Okay, I'm off by about 20 frames. Now I did dramatize this a little bit. It was not off this much when I started, but I wanted to give you a good view of what that looks like. So 20 frames or so, I'm gonna go back 20 frames. Okay, now where the red line is, that is where you are in the timeline. So at this point, I'm simply going to drag the audio to line up with that. All right, so this is a starting point. All right, let's go ahead and play this again. So I'm recording this short clip of video just to show. Okay, we may be off a little bit. Let me shorten, let me bring it back. So I'm recording this short clip of video just to show you the difference between. It's really close. Let's come back just a little bit more. So I'm recording this short clip of video just to show you the difference between audio being in sync. All right, and I think I'm happy with that. That is pretty much right on track. I'm happy with that. So now we are going to basically combine this into a compound clip. So we're gonna turn this back into one clip and call it whatever you want. We'll leave it as ad clip, which is what I've got that titled. And now you have it fixed. So at this point, you can go ahead and start to edit your video just like you normally would no difference, everything is fixed, your audio's fine, we're good to go. What I'm gonna now do is show you how to prevent this from happening in the future. All right, so now you can see exactly what I'm seeing in Ecamm. So when you're looking at Ecamm, this is the way that I have mine set up, but this is the interface of Ecamm. Now, the easy way to do this, to fix this, you wanna test this a few times. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. 
So we are going to either, we're gonna to go to preferences either by hitting the wheel here, or you can go to Ecamm Live preferences here. I prefer just clicking the wheel. I think it's easier that way. All right, so now we have our preferences up. In preferences, we're gonna to go to the audio tab and we have mic delay right here. Now, what I have found to be the case in the past is that we're gonna be off by about six frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this up six frames. All right, and I'm gonna close preferences. Now, you can see right over here in the corner of the screen, we have a mic delay showing on the screen now. So now you can actually edit this from this point. So one frame six, all the way up to 30 is our options. You will never need more than that or obviously less. So six frames is my starting point. This is typically what I have found to be the sweet spot for getting your audio latency taken care of, for getting your audio and video back in sync. So now that this is here, basically what you wanna do at this point is record a couple of clips, test it out, take it into your editing software, see how it looks, and you're all set. This should prevent you from any future issues. If you ever notice that your audio is off, then again, you can check that out, adjust the frames. They do make tools and stuff that you can use to actually test your, your frames easier, but if you don't have those tools, I don't have the expensive tools to do it, I do all this manually, and so this is how you set this. So again, six frames is what is the sweet spot for me. That's what I have found to be the best. You leave that set and you never have to touch it again. Now I do wanna say that one thing that you always wanna do before you start to do any other editing, as soon as you bring your video into your editing software, is check your audio latency. What you don't wanna do is split up your video, make your jump cuts, do all of your, your editing, everything in place, and then realize that your audio is off. So always check that before you edit. The very first thing I do when I pull my video into Final Cut Pro is test the audio and just make sure that it's in sync. Again, since I've been using Ecamm and since I've turned on that six frame mic delay, it has worked every single time. I have not had to tweak anything, but you will wanna test that out in your setup and what you have going on. So I appreciate you sticking around for this video. Hopefully this video helps you with your audio and video settings in Ecamm, get you in sync and helps curb that audio latency that you may find from time to time. Again, I never have to mess with it now that I have it set. It's never been an issue. And this is going to work for your videos and your lives. So this should take care of you. If you enjoy this type of content, if this has been helpful for you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell next to it. And of course, YouTube wants you to hit the all notifications. Tell them that you wanna see all videos. That way you will not miss a video when it comes out. Also, if you hit that thumbs up button on the way out, I would appreciate that. That helps the channel also. Thank you so much for being here. You can also check out my website, yourcontentcoach.live, which will have links to everything that I have going on. Check that out. That'll be down in the description. It's on my IG. It's everywhere you can see it. And so thank you so much for being here on this Tech Tip Thursday. Until next time, guys, go make some killer videos. Take care of your audio latency. Just hit record, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.